Good morning, everybody. Finally, Friday. Feel good Friday. Financially free Friday. Fantastic Friday. Good morning, good morning, good morning. First hour prayer. Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitch, and X, formerly known as Twitter. Good morning to you. Good morning, Marilyn Green over in Chicago. God bless you. 616 in Chicago. Hey, Rosia, good morning to you over in Atlanta, Georgia. What time is it there? Are you all an hour behind? 7.16 a.m. here. Good morning. Good morning, Nicole. same time as we are. All right, 716 in the ATL, 716 in Indianapolis. Chicago's 616. Nevertheless, good morning, everybody. Good to see you. God bless you. Click a praise, post a praise, give God praise this morning. It is Friday. Good morning, Minister Melanie J. Good to see you on this morning. God bless you. Shakiri over in Camden, Alabama. Nini over in New Jersey. Good morning, Minister Denitra. Good morning, Erica. Hey, y'all. We're headed into the weekend. It's going to be a great day today, though. It's going to be a great day. It's going to be a great day. I do, too. It's going to be a great day. I do, too. Prayer and Friday. That sounds like a meal. That sounds like a meal idea. Prayer and Friday. Like PB and J. Like chicken and waffles. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Karen. Karen in Columbus, Ohio, I think. All right, everybody, good morning. Click a praise, post a praise, give God praise. Uh, Shakira said this is the last day of her spring break in Camden, Alabama. And in Indianapolis, there are people who are just getting started after today with their spring break. <clears throat> so it uh, just happens at different times all over. But I want to give you a break on this morning with a virtual anointing for success. As we have been doing all week, virtual anointing for success. It is God's will for you to be successful. And I've got the holy anointing oil here. Uh, Lester Carver, God bless you. Good morning to you. See you later on today. Um, Nicole, yeah, thank you for putting that in the comments. I'm going to put that on the virtual altar there. The virtual anointing for success. Success at first glance appears to be a very secular word. But it's in the Bible all the way back to Genesis. And I was just thinking about this. So let me go find this. Gehazi, who was the, um, was it Gehazi or Eliezer? I think it was Eliezer. Eliezer was the servant of Abraham. And he, his task was to go find a wife for Abraham's son, Isaac. And what a powerful prayer. Now, I had not intended upon, um, including this verse of scripture, Lester, but it, Holy Spirit just gave it to me and put it in my mind. And I'm going to give it to you all. 
in just a few moments. Because when we, when we think about and we look at success at first glance, people get turned off because success seems to be so secular. But before success was ever secular in any kind of way, it was spiritual. Because in the beginning, God said, let there be. And when something becomes, then we say, that's success. That was successful. So when God created and made light, that was a success. When God put a firmament in the midst of the waters to divide the waters which were below the waters from the waters which were above the waters and called it heaven, Minister Bianca, that's success. When God created and made herbs, which you are heavily involved in and gifted and anointed with dealing with, it became what God said, that success. And when God looked at everything that he created and made, he said, that's good. He said, that's good. Well, that's success. <clears throat> so I wasn't going to deal with this passage of scripture because I wasn't even thinking about it. In fact, I was going to continue on with Psalm 84, 10 through 12. Nevertheless, God has given me this verse for us to pray this morning. Yeah, what does success looks like? Look like? What does success look like? It looks like you. <laughs> it looks like each and every one of you. You are a success. Do you know or can you even imagine how difficult and challenging it was for you to come into being? You had you had to outswim upstream a whole lot of other would-be people that wanted to be here. I mean, in that process of becoming a human, you just think about it, it's just incredibly challenging. And you made it. You made it. Success looks like me. That's a good T-shirt, Michelle. That's a good T-shirt. Yeah, Denitra, I didn't get into the other intricacies of the story, but you all know the story. You all know the story. That is a challenging thing. Success looks like me. In uh, academia, there is the term called uh, the Imagio Day, And the Imagio Day means created in the image of God. We are all created in the image and likeness of God. And Denitra put that um, beloved elderberry up there, uh, belovedelderberry.com, belovedelderberry.com very successful wellness business. In fact, the president and founder of that company is on with us, Minister Bianca. And um, everything that is in that is, is success, that herbs and, and all of these different things, God said it was good. So thank you, Denitra, for giving a shout out to your sister, Minister Bianca. I think that's so wonderful. But God put this verse in my spirit to share with each and every one of you, because a lot of times, again, people think, hey, Joni, good morning. Success is so secular. But God wants you to have good success. In fact, God doesn't just want you to have success. He wants you to have good success. Interesting, because that leads us to believe that not all success is good. That not all success is good. He wants you to have good success. He wants you to have good success. Glory to God. 15 people put that in the comments. Good success in three exclamation marks. Good success. I think I can post a comment too. I'm going to see if I can do that. I want to put that in the comments. I want to put that in the comments. Good success. Let's see if I can spell the word success correctly. And I'm because I'm, I'm multitasking here and put these exclamation marks behind it. Glory to God. And I want to decree and declare that for you and your family. And when I did that, it went out to all the platforms that we are broadcasting on simultaneously. Good success in the name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you for it. Success looks like me. Success looks like Chelsea. Success looks like Shakira and Denitra and Bianca. Success looks like 
Joni, glory to God. Success looks like us. We are all, we are all an example of good success. Each and every one of us. And Father, we thank you and praise you and magnify you. And we glorify your holy name for helping us. Minister Melanie J, glory to God. Success in the name of Jesus. Success in the meditated wick in the business. Uh, she's president and CEO and founder of the medicated wick. I got it right this morning, Melanie. I got it right this, the meditated, meditated wick. I got it right this morning. Glory to God. I use it every morning. I use these products every morning. Elderberry and CMOS and these women who started these businesses. Good success. I'm asking God to give you good success for your business. I'm going to show you the prayer. I'm going to show you the prayer that backs this up. Good success for Fervent Prayer Church, East and West. Pastor Hobson is on. Thank you, Pastor Hobson. I think that's Pastor Hobson. Uh, if it's not, then it's Ernie Jr. Both are great men. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We magnify you. We glorify you for good success this morning. That is your will for us. It is your will for us to have good success in every area and aspect of our lives. And we yield to your will so that we are not in our own way. Glory to God so that we can be successful in everything. We give you the praise, the glory and the honor in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and praise you, O God. We believe your word, that it is your will for us to be successful. And I pray for these business owners, Father God. I pray for these business owners. Glory to God. The meditated wick in the name of Jesus. Sign sist, custom sign sisters in the name of Jesus. Beloved elderberry and more in the name of Jesus. Fervent Prayer Church. Fervent care, child care in school. Glory to God. Glory to God. Get well now resource center in the name of Jesus. Fervent prayer church in all of its locations in the name of Jesus. First hour prayer in the name of Jesus. Fervent, the uh, JWJ school of prayer. Glory to God. Father, we thank you for good success and we give you the glory and the honor and the praise. We thank you, O oh God. Yeah, for your grace upon our businesses and upon our efforts. You said that you would give grace and glory. Thank you, Minister Bianca. That's Psalm 84, 11. That's Psalm 84 and 11. Father, we thank you and praise you for favor. We thank you for glory in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you that you withhold no good thing from us but that all good things come to us. And thank you all for putting your businesses in the comments. And I decree and declare success over all of your business interests, all of your efforts right now. Success in staff and increase in contracts and grants in uh, lines of credit, whatever it is that you need to be successful, that God is blessing you in that right now in the name of Jesus. God, you with you withhold nothing. And therefore, we thank you and praise you that no one can stop the success of your people. All right. I want to give you the verse of scripture. This is powerful. This is powerful. Make a note of it, Nini. Foo foo, Serena, make a note of this scripture right here. It's powerful. Genesis chapter 24, verse 12. I was I did not have this in my notes. I did not have this verse in my notes. God gave it to me as I was praying in the first part of this broadcast. Glory to God. Glory to God. And so I had to go look it up. I had to go look it up. God reminded me of the story of a prayer for good success. So Genesis chapter 24, verse 12. Let's get over there and somebody's going to put the whole thing on for me. I know. I'm going to read it from the New International Version first. It says, then he prayed. And I think it was Eliezer that prayed this. He worked for Abraham, who is the father of our faith, had a son named Isaac. And he says, Lord, God of my master, Abraham. 
Make me successful today. Make me successful today. Glory to God. Make me success. Highlight that part. Highlight that part. If you got a paper Bible, if you have an electronic Bible, you can highlight it. That's good right there. Highlight that part of it. Make me successful today. Somebody need to say that. LinkedIn, there's a lot of business owners on LinkedIn. Lester Carver, make him successful. So now what did I do? I took it from being personal to say make me successful to saying make you successful. You see that? Now I'm your intercessor this morning. I'm your prayer partner and intercessor. I'm standing in the gap, making up the hedge for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, make Joni successful. Make Bianca successful. Make Ro and Denitra and Michelle successful. Our words have power and they are life. The power of life and death is in the tongue. So when we say, make me successful, or I say, God, make Serena, make Ray Ray and Fufu and Chelsea and Rosia successful today, not tomorrow. Listen, the scripture didn't say tomorrow, didn't say next week, didn't say next month. It did not future the success blessing. It did not future the success. He said, make me successful today. He said, make me successful today. Definitive in his request. Sometimes people are so vague in their request. He said, make me successful today. He was bold enough to say, make me successful today in the name of Jesus. A parallel text, Luke 11, Matthew 6, give us when? Give us this day. Give us today. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. Make me successful today. Give us this day our daily bread. Glory to God. Glory to God. Melanie, did you see that? Did you see that, Melanie? Not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, not next year, but today. God said, today, if you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Everything is now. Everything is in the now. We are in this moment. What presses down people's feelings? People think about yesterday. They think about tomorrow. Thank you, Silva, for the cash app. They think about yesterday too much. They think about tomorrow too much. And it presses down their feelings. That's what depression is. That's de what depression is. Feelings get pressed down. Glory to God. When our experience fails to meet our expectation, when our experiences fail to meet our expectation, that's when depression comes. But God said, today, hear my voice. Today, hear my word and don't harden your heart. And what is the word for today? Genesis 24, 12. God, make me successful. God, make my First hour prayer partners successful in the name of Jesus. Make Shakira successful, Lord. Make Michelle successful in the name of Jesus. And God, we bless you and praise you for that right now. We thank you according to your word, uh, Genesis 24 and 12, that we are successful today in the name of Jesus in the things that we are doing. Amplified Bible renders it this way. And he said, oh, Lord, now the Amplified Bible makes it a lament. Thank you, Chelsea. Which part was good so I can repeat it? <laughs> Chelsea, what, which part was good so I can repeat it? Glory to God. Anything good should be repeated. Again, I say unto you, give me a hint and I'm going to repeat it. The Amplified Bible said, oh, Lord, that's a lament. The lamentation of James Jackson today. Oh, Lord, God of my master, Abraham. Now, he was praying on behalf of Abraham and I'm praying on behalf of me. And I say, oh, Lord, my God, he prayed on behalf of the God of Abraham, did not recognize or acknowledge God as his God, although he was. But he says, oh, Lord, we can say directly to God, oh, Lord, God. Oh, Lord God, I don't have to say the God of Abraham. I don't have to say that. Chelsea said, live in today. Success is today. Not yet. Yeah. Focus on the now. 
I learned this a long time ago. Yesterday is a canceled check. Tomorrow is a promissory note. Today is cash. Spend it wisely. I learned that a long time ago. Yesterday is a canceled check. Tomorrow is a promissory note. Today is cash. Spend it wisely. Today is cash. Spend it wisely. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We magnify you. O oh Lord, our God. O oh Lord, our master. Amplified Bible. Please grant me success today and show loving kindness to my master Abraham. He was looking for a wife for Isaac. He was looking for a wife for Isaac and God did it that day. And God answered his prayer that day. Glory to God. And Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for the blessing of Rebecca. And I believe that's who he found, Rebecca. Glory to God. And Father, just as you answered Eleazar's prayer concerning a wife, glory to God, for Isaac, we pray right now, we pray, Father God, that you would do the same for us. We thank you. We praise you. We magnify you for this day. We thank you, O oh God, for your divine presence in this day. We thank you for your divine provision in this day. Help us, O oh God. Help us to live in the moment. Help us to get control of our thoughts. Help us, Lord God. I bind up the spirit of depression. I bind it up right now. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds and casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing every thought and bringing every thought into captivity unto the obedience of Christ the anointing, which is the word of God. And what does the word of God say? The word of God said the blessing of the Lord makes you rich and he adds no sorrow with it. Evangelist Pfeiffer, we don't have to be depressed. We don't have to be pressed down. We don't have to allow people to press us down in circumstances. Glory to God. Father God, according to your word, we will arise we will arise and come to you and walk in the favor that you have provided for us. We thank you. We praise you. We magnify you. We glorify your holy name. Thank you, Lord God. You said Psalm 37 and 5, delight thyself also in the Lord. I think that's what it says. I think that's around the neighborhood of delight thyself also in it. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. That's around the neighborhood of my favorite scripture. That my, is that what it is? Glory to God. Yeah. <laughs> I learned that scripture many years ago. I was 15 years old memorizing that verse. I was 15 years old memorizing that verse. Delight yourself also in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. That's a good companion text for Genesis 24 and 12. Thank you, Crystal, for the cash app. Thank you. Incidentally, this is Giving Friday, y'all. If the prayer ministry has been a blessing to you, pray about being a blessing to it and follow the witness of your heart. Minister Denitra will put the information in the comments. Glory to God. Father, we thank you. We praise you. As Eleazar prayed so many hundreds and hundreds of years ago. And he said, make me successful. Oh, Lord God, make me successful. You're the same then, now, and forever. And if a man prayed then, make me successful today. If a man then said, oh, Lord. If a man then said, oh, Lord, make me successful today. And why did you make him successful, God? Because you knew that the coming together of Isaac and Rebekah would mean the continuation of what you promised Abraham. And you promised Abraham back in Genesis 15 and 16 and 17. You promised 
promised Abraham that you would cause his seed to be as multitudinous, if you will. And that's probably not a word, but as many glory to God as the sands of the sea and the stars of the sky. You said that he would just be blessed in that way. And if that were to happen, if that were to come to pass, and certainly God, you're not a man that you should lie, nor the son of man that you should repent. If you said it, you'll do it. If you speak it, it will come to pass. And therefore you made Eleazar successful in finding Rebecca to bring to pass the word that you and the promise and the covenant that you gave to Abraham, that you would bless his seed, that you would make him great. And so God, there are things that you have promised us. There are things that you have said concerning us. And in order for those things to come to pass, Father God, make us successful. That was the start of a successful relationship. Somebody put relationships in the comments. Somebody put relationships in the comments. There's something else I learned a long time ago, and that is the old, the new cannot begin until the old ends. The new cannot begin until the old ends. And we like holding on to old stuff. We like, some of us are hoarders in the spirit. Some of us are hoarders in the spirit realm. We like to keep everything and everybody. And the reality is, as God is moving us and blessing us and shifting us, glory to God, he works through relationships. He works through relationships, glory to God. God puts things together and God causes things to be a party. He works like that for his own purposes, for his own benefits. And God put Isaac and Rebekah together to bring to pass his word that he gave to Abraham that your seed is going to be blessed. And if you can number your seed, look at the stars. And if you can number your seed, look at the sands of the sea. I feel like running through troops and leaping over walls right about now. And sometimes you're not going to understand completely what God is doing, but let God do what he do. Glory to God. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We magnify you. We glorify your relationship relationships, relationships, relationships. Father, we thank you. You blessed the relationships. You gave Isaac a divine relationship to bring to pass your will in the life of your servant Abraham. And so, Father God, we thank you for golden relationships. We thank you for covenant relationships. We thank you for covenant relationships in the name of Jesus. Connect us, O oh God, with the people who will contribute to our success and not take away from it. Connect us with the people who will celebrate our success. Father, we thank you, Father God, just as you gave David Jonathan, and even though Jonathan was the biological successor to the throne. He abdicated and allowed David to have that because it was your will. He acquiesced to your will. In fact, he was a type of Christ because he gave up his life so that David could live. And what greater love had no man than this, than a man lay down his life for his friend. And Jonathan, whose soul was knit with the soul of David. And I pray that God would give you soul friends in the name of Jesus, people who you can be knit in the heart with, in the name of Jesus, that God would crochet somebody into your life, that God would crochet somebody in your life. Anybody know anything about crocheting? Glory to God. That God would give you a relationship that he puts together, glory to God, that will bring to pass wonderful things in your life and bring to pass the covenant and the promises that God have given. And God, we give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. And we pray again, as did Eleazar, Lord God, make us successful today on this 22nd day of March 2024. Make us successful in everything we do today. Make us successful in everything we do. And we give you praise and we give you glory and we give you honor in Jesus name. Amen. Amen and amen. God crochet us some connections. <laughs> amen. Glory to God. That sounds like a podcast, the crochet connection. 
Minister Melanie J, that sounds like a podcast, The Crochet Connection. What are you talking about? We're talking about relationships and being knit together at the soul, glory to God, cannot be torn apart, willing to lay down our lives for somebody else. And if you got anybody in your life who's willing to lay down their own wants and to lay down uh, what they want for you, you are blessed. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. I appreciate that. Glory to God. Well, y'all, this is the last Friday before my birthday. My birthday, thank you, Shakiria, is Wednesday of next week, the Lord willing. Next week, the Lord willing, another birthday already. So today, if you want to bless me, you can. Uh, Denitra put all the giving information up there. If you want to give to the Fervent Prayer Church, that's fine. But if you want to give me to me directly, you can do that. And I appreciate it. And one of the best things you can do is share this prayer, share this live broadcast with somebody else. And I would appreciate that as much, if not more than you giving me a monetary blessing, because I want to teach 10 million people how to pray. I'm on a journey. I'm on a journey and I'm learning a lot. When God expands you, when God begins to level you up, you have to go through a lot to get there. <laughs> you have to go through a lot to get there. But I thank God for the journey. I thank God for the journey. And maybe, maybe Evangelist Pfeiffer, Patty, maybe it's not a journey. Maybe it's a quest. Maybe it's a quest. A journey is something that you can map out. We're going to take a journey to California. We know we got to go 65 south. And then we, if we're going to drive, even if you fly, you're going to fly south. So a journey is often something that you kind of know where you're going. We're going to take a journey over here. We're going to journey over there. A quest is a little different. I may need to minister on that. Many of us are on a quest. We've never been there before. <laughs> We've never been there before. And so there are some things on a quest that you will experience that you won't experience on a journey. Because on a journey, you know that the gas station is over there and this place is over there. And you're going to come across Elizabethtown and then Tennessee and then Atlanta and so on and so forth. But on a quest, you've never been there before, so you don't know. And so many of us are on a quest versus a journey. And in church and in kingdom, we hear more about journey than we do quest. But I'm going to have to teach and minister on that because many of us who are on a quest are experiencing some things that we've never experienced before. But God got you. God's got you. We got you too in prayer. All right. I've gone over my time. Uh, join me at the Fervent Prayer Church after worship this Sunday. There's going to be a reception in honor of my birthday. I'd love to have you there to shake your hand and hug your neck on this Sunday, right around about 1145 or so. That's going to be this Sunday. So come on out. Our services are usually over by about 1130. Right after that, we have a reception over in the gym and it's just going to be wonderful. It's going to be wonderful. So I hope that if you're in town or if you want to come into town uh, for the celebration, I'd love to see you. All right. Until next time, y'all. I like you. I love you. And you make me smile. There's a song. Uh, that was shared with me today. Every now and then, someone will share a song with me and I'm going to play it <laughs> on my iPhone, just a little bit of it. I'm going to pray. I'm going to play. I'm saying pray. Uh, I had it there just a moment ago. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, there it is. I'm going to play a little bit of it on here so you can hear just a little bit of it and it's called your grace and mercy mississippi mass choir so you can go look that up 
and listen to it in its entirety later on. But I like this. It's an old song, but I like it. <laughs> Love you guys. Appreciate you. Thank you for being my prayer partners this week. Yeah, it's an oldie but a goodie. <laughs> Somebody going in right there. <laughs> yeah, that's an old one, Shakira. That's an old one. Mississippi Mass Choir, Your Grace and Mercy. You can go look that one up. <laughs> 